So this video is gonna be a bit different. Some of you may remember a while back I built an underwater drone, but I live in a landlocked state. So the best underwater view you're ever gonna get is your friend yelling at you after you pushed him in the pool. So in order to test this out properly and have a bit of fun, we're gonna travel 10,000 miles the other side of the world. Now I don't really know what to title this video because the device I made went through like so many different modifications. So the first part of this journey starts with me getting on an airplane with this drone I made that's essentially a black box of wires so this can only end well. Fifteen hour flight and go. Good evening ladies and gentlemen. Flying with this was a huge mistake though. Not <laughs> that on the plane. Yeah, somehow they let it fly, slide. They let it fly. A black plastic box with a bunch of wires in it. How did they let that on? I don't know. Well, I left a note. <laughs> so just a quick recap the way this thing works. We have two underwater propellers controlled by an RC transmitter for propulsion, one Wi-Fi camera to see what's going on down there, one main camera attached to a fishing spool on a motor so we can drop it down to basically see what's going on down there. Basically, it's a really overly complicated RC boat with an automatic fishing reel. Listen to our purr. Oh yeah. Let's see how she does. It's like an angry bee. You can crank donuts though. I saw but my breath through the money, the pressure be calling. Left all my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Falling progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone in the fiction, I'm summoning it double. Cause bitch, I got. <laughs> <laughs> it's so angry. You think you can get it back here? From there. That's the challenge. Going, let's do it. <laughs> Just give it a little too much. Oh no, not the rock. Ride this way. Ride it in, baby. Hey. <laughs> close enough. All right, I think that's pretty close. Beautiful. Worked like a charm. Exactly as planned. I can't think of any ways to make this better. I know. It's yeah. Crazy. Is the box completely waterproof? <laughs> We're really about dry. to find out. Ah, uh, looks pretty dry. Pretty dry. Cause I mean that's really buoyant right there. Yeah. That's all dry. It's so mostly dry. It it's definitely a little wet in there though. Okay, so the drone kind of shit the bed on that. It worked perfectly as intended. However, the water is still super murky right now, so unfortunately, we can't really test it with underwater features, which is a bummer because ah man, it was it was just working so well. <laughs> Nevertheless, I came up with a fun idea that I think is going to be equally as exciting. So check this out. The drone already has a motorized fishing reel on it, right? The thing that's supposed to raise and lower the camera underwater. But what if we use it like a normal fishing reel, like to try and catch something? Could be fun. And luckily, Australia has no shortage of aquatic life. Bruh. And I happen to have the inside scoop on one place that turtles like to hang out. So let's chuck some bread on the end of this line, chuck it in the water, and see what we can catch. for them. I toasted it too. Is that weird? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't I didn't splurge for the butter. Turtles turtles will get what they eat. There are a lot of them though. Now I should mention guys that no turtles were harmed in the making of this video. We didn't use any hooks at all. We literally just tied the bread onto the end of the fishing line. And these turtles are like ducks kind of weird weird sentence to say. You can feed them bread just like you would ducks in a pond. And we just set them down on the dock after we caught them. Watch what happens. So with that being said, enjoy whatever this is. What type of fish line are you using? I have no idea. Braided or a nylon? <laughs> I don't fish. You don't fish, obviously. American. <laughs> Typical. This is turning into okay. something else. So now I'll wind it back in, and then hopefully we'll just be able to coax the turtles. See, because it's toasted, it's more like... Uh, durable. Yeah, it's durable. Just kind of cast it out. Wind her up. It also, like, barely works, so... <laughs> Oh, you know it's done. No, no, no. 
he got it, he got it. Oh shit. Reel it in. No, <laughs> getting it. No, reel it in. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is how you fish for turtles. Oh my god. Oh, oh big piece of bread, I see. Yeah, we're 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 not holding back now. Yeah. <laughs> no, he got it! He got it! He literally took it! <laughs> oh, he's taking it! He's taking it! <laughs> I'm reeling it in! Oh, I got him! <laughs> oh, I can't believe that worked! <laughs> Are you actually gonna catch a turtle at some point, Jay? I'm trying! No, no, with your hands. Hard. You have to catch it with your hands, hands, Jay. I'd sort of grab it now, are you? Reel it in! They're tearing, they're chasing it! <laughs> Got him. <laughs> can't drown, right? What do you mean they can't drown? <laughs> Think about what you just said. Ready. Start your turtles. They're at the gate. And they're all jumping out of the lead is romance and affection. With domestic bliss in close behind. It's romance and affection and domestic bliss. Here comes marriage vows, followed by immediate child. Romance and affection going up quickly. Subscribe, hey. like, you know what to do, chaps. All right, that was interesting. So we got one more thing to try with this underwater drone turtle catcher set. You know, I don't even know what this thing is called. I got another idea. So we came across this old windsurfing board. Free board, baby. Literally just laying on the side of the road. And you know, when life gives you a windsurf board, you really just gotta seize that opportunity. So we hit the store, grabbed some straps. took the motors off of the drone, attached the straps to them, and we're pretty much gonna create a jet surfboard using these drone motors. And best of all, it's gonna be RC, well, I don't know if this is best of all, but it's gonna be radio controlled so we can drive this thing around unmanned. Honestly, could be a good life-saving device, you know? Someone's drowning, just drive it up to them. Yet again, no idea how this is gonna go, but uh, you know, it can only be funny, so let's try it out. Anytime now. I think I see a good one. Yeah. No, that's coming in. That's you. Yeah. There it is. There it is. Stand up. Paddle. <laughs> Came up with a super good way of keeping the remote control waterproof. Very high tech plastic bag, baby. Let's see what she's got. Oh, she's falling apart. She's on her last legs. Minimize the drag, weight reduction, plus 10 BHP. Oh yeah. Dude, if we get it stuck out there. <laughs> All right, try not to hit that boat. It only turn. <laughs> Just gun it, you're fine. Oh my God, we lost our oh surfboard. God. No. It's just so dead. I'll just like put a GoPro on here and then we'll speed it up, make it look faster than it is. As he comes up the bottom, look at that upside down, a little bit. Okay, so I feel like that kind of worked. But I mean, what can you really expect from a board we literally found on the side of the road and some motors that were meant to power a small drone, so. Also, make sure you subscribe because I'm actually getting another underwater jet system. It's gonna be way better. But that about wraps up this whirlwind of a video. Hope you guys liked it. Take it easy. We'll catch you later.
bottom. Look at that upside down.